Let's talk about the playmakers. Um, we mentioned Juwan Jennings. Without Debo out there, it looks like a pretty good group. Kyle Shanahan said Jennings and Brandon Ayuk has, has ha- have had as good of off seasons as they've had since they've become pros. And I think it looks like it when we watch them play. They, I mean, I and think Kittle Ayuk, did not practice today. Kittle and Fred Warren did not practice. I, Ayuk has looked awesome. I mean, this whole time. I, I do think Juwan Jennings, not that he's looked bad. I, I just hadn't really watched him much beside a play here, play there. I focus on him. He looks fantastic. And I wanted to ask Kyle specifically about him because obviously Kyle, he's a wide receiver coach at heart. Do you agree? He doesn't like, he loves Juwan Jennings. I, I, both those, I would put the the way he, t- he talked about him as a package deal. Like they were the leaders of the group and kind of the leaders of the offense with Trent. He didn't say this specifically, but Trent, Kittle hasn't been practicing. And, you know, obviously Jimmy's gone, Trey's young, and Debo's gone. So it's like those guys' leadership. And then you just watch them play in which the urgency in which they have. Like, those guys are coming to fucking kick ass and take names every day. Now, Ayuk, we understand it. First-round pick. He's had game-winning touchdowns. Like, he should be a high-level player. I think the emergent of, emergence of Jawan Jennings, and we saw it last year, like, if they can get that body type to be, like, a legitimate – starting level wide receiver with their other two guys, their offense is loaded because we know how good Debo is. We know Ayuk is only getting better. Kittle's a star. Juszczyk is a stud. They got 8 million running backs, and you throw Jawan Jennings in the mix. And then if Ayuk or Debo misses a game or whatever, I actually feel better about their depth at that position. Like, Jawan, I I mean, I he's... I think his upside to be get money eventually from someone else like Kendrick Bourne did is much higher, right? With his body type, how he'll be able to produce in the red zone. I could see him having an emergence where like someone eventually pays him a lot of money. Now I'm not talking like Christian Kirk or whatever, but I could see him having some moments these next couple of years where you're like, holy shit. And if you're Trey Lance, I'd throw it to that guy. Why? He's huge. His body type. He just, I, I keep thinking Ayuk small, and then he ran by us today. And you're like, well, he's way bigger than you realize. Well, he almost ran into us while we were talking to Cal Poly, Cal Poly coach uh, Will Plemons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and obviously, Debo and Ayuk, they're smaller wide receivers relative to the NFL, but they're still, when you walk by, like when you were getting close to Debo, he doesn't look like a small human being. But Jawan Jennings is legitimately six foot three, he's a jump ball guy. But now he's moving like he's moving. Don't don't you feel like his movements are just he's way faster. I think anytime a player has the season that like a young player has a breakthrough early career like he had last year, I can't even imagine the level of confidence that that gives a guy going into the offseason, the amount of ownership he feels over, you know, I w- it's probably different. You're coming into last year, you, all you're told is like, "Hey man, just block." You got Debo and Ayuk and Kittle and you're kind of in the background. We got you're well, not guaranteed to make a team as a seventh round pick, even your second year, right? Juwan Jennings wasn't guaranteed that, to make the team coming into the season last year. You make play after play after play, third down, big games, touchdowns. Um, they look for you offensively. They create opportunities for you offensively. I bet he feels so far away from a seventh round pick, the way he thinks of himself now. And maybe he had a lot of confidence coming in. I think one of the reasons Kyle has to love him, he's kind of the perfect type player in the sense that he earned his way onto the field by being a blocker, by being physical, by not being afraid to go over the middle, but and by knowing what to do. Right. So that for, so just to start, Kyle Shanahan loves him because he can trust him. Then what did Shanahan tell us today after you asked the follow-up on Jennings? He separates as well as any of the receivers we have. So fundamentally, one of the reasons that Trey Lance should should throw him the ball is because he's going to be open. That's what Kyle Shanahan's saying. Like he gets, it looks kind of funny the way he runs, but he gets himself open. Yeah, and that I think was like that's why he gets paid, right? You don't get paid just for extra effort. You get paid because you can make plays because you're a good player. And Kyle is saying he's as good as separating as any receiver we have. He has a first round receiver. He has a second round receiver. He has a free agent Ray Ray McLeod receiver they just signed. So they don't have some schmucks out there at receiver. Like they are, they have invested in their receiver room. And he's saying this guy separates as well as any of them. Yeah. And, and think about this. 
I always say this with coaches. I, I judge them more by their actions than their words. Though, for the most part, Kyle's actions and words match up pretty well, I'd say, typically. Uh, he ran in the biggest game, you know, of the last several years. Win or get into the playoffs. They had to win to make the playoffs. The double pass, and it was to Juwan Jennings. Think about that. Now, I know if, like, ultimately, if it works, it's a lob pass. A- and, you know, if you put Ayuk, maybe there's more the guy runs with them. Maybe it's just simple as like, you're a little less likely to fall off 15 as you are 11. Uh, 19 has the ball. So it's not like he can run the route, but to me, that's pretty telling. And by that point in time, he got huge balls there. I think he had another big catch in the Dallas game. I mean, he's, he, he looks the part. And I told you this on the sideline. Like if you didn't know the Niners roster and you just came to practice and I said, they drafted that guy two years ago as the 17th pick in the draft. It'd be believable, right? Just the way his yeah. body size, the way he carries himself. I'm with you. And on his, the way he produced, yeah. Today in practice, they were, f- you know, feeding him the ball. I'm big on your body language at practice. A- as a young player, like just the way Debo had it right away, Bosa had it right away. Like some guys have it, and I, I you know, Fred Warner had it very quickly. Kittle had it immediately. You you can tell because if you watch the Harbaugh teams with those guys, it's the way they kind of uh, when when uh 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 what's not Earl Mitchell what's Bowman, uh Willis. What, what's Mitchell's Elijah. name? Elijah Mitchell. <laughs> the way he walked by me, the first OTA we went, I'm like, this guy's carrying himself like he started running back in the league. And there's something to be said about that because it's it's a league of alphas and it's a dog-eat-dog league because you're playing for other people's position. And you can't fake the confidence that that guy's playing with right now. And I would say Juwan Jennings, and they know it, and it's got to feel good. I mean, anytime. If he's good again, like they fucking dominate the four, the third day of the draft. I mean, that would be incredible to get a guy to produce like that with your other two guys as a seventh round pick. Somebody in the chat said something about Ray Ray McLeod is only a returner. No, I mean, Ray Ray McLeod is going to play receiver for them. He had a nice catch today, actually. A really nice catch. Well, the one thing is with Kyle, we saw with, with Trent last year, like everyone early on gets the chance, right? If Ray Ray does well in training camp, he'll get some reps at wide receiver for sure. Yeah, and we'll see. Like, Danny Gray's got to prove he can just practice for three straight weeks. He has a hamstring. Didn't practice today. No, he was running around. He's probably fine. We actually saw him at the practice where he tweaked it because he had the Theragun on it. And then he pract- He continued that practice to practice. So I don't think it's anything severe. But um, it's going to be hard for him to force his way onto the field. They have good receivers, especially once they sign Debo. Well, and they don't play. I mean, again, it might just be Jimmy. We'll see. Maybe Katre would change with Trey. Like if they go quote unquote spread it out for wide receivers, their tight end is one of those guys, right? So th- they don't ever go four wide receivers on the field at the same time because unless he's injured or sucking wind, 85 is one of the guys. Right. If I'm thinking of yeah. they're going four wide, it'd be 11, 19, 15, and 85. And you feel pretty damn good about that group. Like and this gets back to right. Trey. Like what more can you ask for? Like it's like, well, Zach Wilson's got Elijah Moore and We'll see about Garrett Wilson. Well, he's a rookie. I mean, they, they're rolling out Debo Samuel, Brandon Ayuk, George Kittle, and Jawan Jennings as their spread it out group. And they might put Juszczyk in the backfield to, you know, play pass protect. Like, that's that's pretty unreal. Well, my question is, if Jawan Jennings is the best separator of the group, we've never really thought of him as a deep ball threat because speed is not his calling card. But maybe he is a threat down the field for them this year. Well, he's getting matched up on the third best corner, probably, right? If the other two guys are around. You're not putting Jalen yeah. Ramsey on him. No, it's true. Now, top yep. end speed is not really his thing, but if you – this is what Keith Williams of Baltimore Ravens would say. Like, I mean, Devontae Adams gets open down the field. Keenan Allen gets open down the field. You can get open with route running – you know the route that you – was it last week that when he broke on uh, – was Emmanuel Mosley or Ward or maybe Jimmy Ward? It was Jimmy Ward, yeah. And to me, like head fakes and route running, you can get open down the field without running like Deshaun Jackson, right? Well, that's a great example. They had it spread out. He had the safety on him. He and ran he by him. There was nobody back there. Now, the ball traded – trade through the ball somewhere else, but – um, I expect I lo- to see I, that. Guy, I'm – I – I love Debo Samuel. I even I'm a big fan of Ayuk. I'm a sucker for a big wide receiver. And he's the biggest. He's the only big guy they got by a mile. <laughs> he stands out in their group, right? Yeah, their group is not big. <laughs> no. That's for sure. Their group is not big.